Hey guys, this is Barbaros with Barbaros Gaming and welcome to my channel. Today's going to be a little bit of a follow-up on a video I did from our shotcut tutorial. A lot of people seem to really appreciate the video. I said that I spell it out for them pretty easily. And then I had a bunch of questions along with it. Uh, this question comes from Ayo Ojo. Um, he asked, why don't you put the quality to 100%? Well, in my tutorial, if you watch the tutorial, I suggested that you set the quality to about 70% uh, due to the fact that obviously the better quality that you have, the bigger your file is going to be. Now, you wouldn't think that going from 70% to bumping it up to 100% would be that huge of a difference as far as size-wise. Um, but I'm here to tell you, it actually, it actually is. There's um, it's quite a bit of difference as far as the size, and it could eat up a hard drive pretty quickly. So as you can see here, normally, like I said, the 70%, all I did was I took some gameplay from Half-Life 2 that I'd made the other day. Still love that game. It's my favorite game in the whole wide world. Um, and I took the exact same video clip, as you can see here, that's 17 minutes and 42 seconds long. 17 minutes and 42 seconds long. All I did was I created that video clip at 70% quality, like I do most of my videos, and then I did one at 100% quality. Oh, I'm here to tell you, there is quite a difference. Let me just get these videos blown up a little bit, that way y'all can see them. Now, I, I did notice the quality, the lighting seems to be um, a little bit nicer, and the it's a little, little bit more crisp than the 100%, but it's not such a huge difference to me that I'm going to want to go 100% quality every time. But here's the videos playing side by side. 100% um, quality is on the left, 70% quality is on the right. Um, this is just me in the menus. Let's get some actual gameplay loaded up on here. The 100% quality video is just a tiny bit ahead just because I hit start at different times or hit play. I was actually got quite curious about that myself after after it was asked, I'm like, yeah, you know what, I'll, I'll make a video on that. But, um, as you can see, they're pretty much side by side. They're off by like a second or two. But, to me, the quality is not that much different that I would go with 100% instead of 70. Uh, I think 70% is good because you're going above what the stock is, but you're not going absolutely crazy with it. Wait till we get out in the open water to see the actual quality. There's that dreaded helicopter. If you've never played Half-Life 2, you have no idea what you're missing out on. Go pick it up. Please, please, please. It will change your life. But now to the to the naked eye, I'm really not seeing, you know, a lot of a lot of difference in the quality. It's pretty close to the to the same in my opinion. But, alright, just, uh, I'm not going to do all 17 minutes, it'd be a little crazy. Um, but as you can see, 70% to 100%, really, my opinion, is not that big of a difference. Um, where the big difference is, is in the file size. All right, as you can see, 70% quality, 100% quality. All right, here we go, guys. Ready? This is this is huge. 
70% quality. This video is only 2.03 gigabytes in size. The 100% quality is 9.5 gigabytes in size. That is the size of some games. That is like 3 of Half-Life. That is actually okay, maybe maybe 2 and a half. But still, that is that is huge for not that much of a difference in quality. I just I don't know, I just I don't see it being worth it unless you've got like unlimited terabytes of storage to where you just want to run 100% quality on everything. To me, it's not that worth it unless you just have something you need to be extremely detailed. But like I said, you, you saw 70% right next to 100% and there really was not that big of a difference. But to each his own, everybody's opinion differs. Um, it's, it's why they're opinions. But um, again, 70% quality, 2.03 gigabytes for the exact same video but the quality bumped up 30%. That's crazy. It's crazy, guys. It's over four times the size of the video of the 70% quality. So I think this is I think this is good because it, it bumps up your quality a little bit, um, but it doesn't eat up your hard drive. It is still, you know, it still is a large video, but not too drastic, not compared to 100%. Goodness. But anyways... This is a, like I said, this is a user request video from Ayo Ojo. Uh, he asked me, why don't I put the quality to 100%? And I, I figured, before I even experimented with it, I figured that that was going to be the biggest difference was the size of the file. But I honestly had no idea that it was going to be that much of a difference. It is... It was, it, was, it was a huge difference, over four times the size, just in a 30% bump in quality. But, um, yeah, that's, that's just crazy. I, I never, ever, ever, ever would have thought it would have been that much of a difference. But, anyways, guys, I've gotten some pretty good responses on my Shotcode tutorial. Um, if you have any questions or you want me to, if you have any user request videos, you want me to do experimenting with Shotcut, that way you don't have to, I would be more than happy to make those videos for you. Just let me know what you want. Drop it down in the comment section on this video. And also don't forget to click that subscribe button if you enjoy my content. And also don't forget to give the video a like. Go check out the rest of my videos. I do a little bit of everything. I'm going to be doing a couple more product reviews soon. I did a product review on the Red Dragon Center Forest gaming mouse, and I'm getting a couple more Red Dragon mouses in soon, hopefully, to be able to review those to give you all a good range of quality in mice, and I'm extremely happy with Red Dragon products so far, so can't wait to do more of it. But again, this is Barbaros from Barbaros Gaming, and thank you guys for watching, and take care.